first time I used an assistive device, it wasn't a cane. It was a strap that I hooked up onto my French horn so that I could find a way to hold the weight of the horn, not with my arm, but using the strap. I only use a scooter in special scenarios, special case scenarios, where I don't think I can walk as much as I will need to. I was taking a trip to the uh, Museum of Modern Art with my husband, and I was very excited that I was able to roll through the whole exhibit. I made a trip to Switzerland and I used that cane on the streets that walked, you know, went up and down and I really needed the extra support and it helped me get through a longer day and I could enjoy it more. One thing that the wheelchair has done for me is allow me to pursue photography again, which I was not able to do for quite a long time after my diagnosis because my right side uh, became paralyzed and I was unable to hold a camera to my eye. Uh, now that I have the wheelchair, uh, I mount a camera to the arm of my wheelchair um, and the camera has a flip out view screen so I can look down and see what I'm, I'm framing and operate the camera that way. Uh, and that's really been important to me because photography is a passion uh, and, and that has allowed me to pursue that uh, again, uh, which I'd really, really been missing. On Independence Day, I went in the parade with my daughter, something my husband has done repeatedly, but I never could consider him. Fourth of July is so hot. And so I made a deal with myself that if my scooter came on time, I would go in the parade. And when that happened, I didn't allow myself a choice. I wanted to just put it all out there, and as I'm trying to accept this image, I let the whole town see it. And of course, it was really great for my daughter to see me representing like that. Mm -hmm.